Hey, I am the Greg, one of the hosts of the Greg and Dave Show. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Do you need some extra motivation in your life? Are you looking to be inspired? If so, then look no further than the Good God Company. At the Good God Company, their mission is to create and clothe all loving humans with their unique, inspiring, and beautifully designed t-shirts. All of the products from the Good God Company are equally designed to motivate you and improve your life. From their mugs, workout tanks, to eye-appealing shirts and sweatshirts. Learn more about their renowned products by visiting thegoodgodcompany.com. That's thegoodgodcompany.com. The Good God Company is proud to support public house media. The The Good Good God God Company. Company. I'm I'm feeling feeling good. good. This is Daniel Poppy, host of How to Write Good here on Public House Media. I just want to thank you for listening to the following broadcast brought to you by Public House Media. Once you're done with this episode, I hope that you'll come check out my show, How to Write Good, the writing show that is not about writing. A new show of How to Write Good comes out every Wednesday, so don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of How to Write Good. Again, thanks for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Are you having trouble sticking to the goals that you set way back in January? Do those things that you said that you were going to do this year seem like foreign objects to you these days? Are you trying to figure out how you yet can make them still happen? I hope so. I hope that you're still sticking to your goals. I hope that you are still dedicated to getting them done, even though we're most of the way through the year. You've still got plenty of time. Good morning, my name is Kim Meyer. Welcome to Public House Media. I am so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for pushing play today on Choose to Rise. Thank you so much for joining me here live on the feed. I am just so blessed and so honored that you have chosen to take some time today and learn a little bit and about what I'm talking about today and sharing in this time together. So thank you so much. Today I really wanna talk to you about clarity and intention and personal achievement and really why you're maybe not getting there, okay? So I've got lots of people on my team, I've got lots of customers or challengers that um, are really kind of getting to this point of like, it's August and like, where is the time gone, you know? Like, and we, we really think about like, why you really start to reflect a little bit on why am I not reaching the goals that I set for myself? Why am I not getting to where I want to be? And Um, it really kind of comes down to some very simple things, some very, some simple reasons why it's not happening. And today we're going to talk about those, some of those reasons why, um, why your goals haven't happened yet, but how you can still make them happen. And so seven little reasons, seven simple little things that are easily to tweak to make sure that you're getting to where you want to go. So like many, um, I have really big goals. I, and actually maybe not even many, like there are like less than 80%, um, 80% of the world that don't have big goals in their life. And that really kind of surprises me. Um, it shocks me a little bit, but it maybe isn't such a big deal like isn't such a shock because there are a lot of people in life that are just kind of settled. They've just kind of coasted into like, this is where I'm at. This is where I'm meant to be. I'm doing what the norm is doing and that's where I'm at. But you know, I really, I get excited about goals. I have lots of people with me that are excited about goals. And so when I find people that are are struggling to meet the goals, I want to help them. And so we're going to talk a little bit today about how you might be self-sabotaging yourself, how you might be a little, some of the reasons about why you might not be reaching your goals, and then give you a little bit of solution to maybe try and tweak and see if you can make them happen. So many goals lead to lots of things. So if you have too big of a goal or you have lack of, you know, you've, um, you get to an exhaustive state, you, you get lose focus, you may decide that it's getting too hard, I don't really want that anymore. I get it, I completely get it. Goals are exciting. A new year starts, you get goals set up, you wanna achieve things, maybe you attend a conference, you have these big huge goals that you have now all of a sudden, someone's fired you up, you see your potential, you see so much possibility in something, and then you just 
you get going in it and something happens, like life happens, or you know, maybe your car breaks down, or your spouse isn't supportive, or your job is too demanding, or, 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 or. Lots of excuses start to sink into your heart, start to sink into your mind. But the thing that you really need to have if you really wanna achieve your goals is some strategies, some things that are gonna help you keep going the course even when emotions happen and bad days happen and moments of self-doubt come in and all the things of life come crashing down on you. So one of the things that I want to help you with today is, you know, maybe one of the reasons why your goals are not happening is that you have too many of them, right? That you have too many um, too many things going on in your life. What if you just focused it down to one or two and really got got good at focusing in on a few things? So one of the solutions that um, I have for you today is to focus on one thing at a time. We're not necessarily multitaskers um, all the time. Like I like to think I can multitask, but really if you got you have to give your full attention to something in order for it to actually work. So my solution for you, if you have too many goals, that you have too many things going on and you feel super overwhelmed, Pare it down and focus on one thing at a time. Every single day, I write out a whole sheet of life goals, of of achievements that I want to have, of things that I want to do in my life, but I really, when it comes time to it, I have to focus on one thing at a time to get them all done. So. Even if you focus on one goal a month, or my, my team and I are focusing on this book, The 12 Week Year, where we're really diving deep into short term things of getting something, something significant done off of our list. So do something, pare it down to be just one fo- focus on one thing at a time. The second reason why you might not necessarily be reaching your goals that you want is you have a lack of patience, right? So a lot of us, we live in a, we, well, we all live in a instantaneous world. We live in something where we, we want it now. We have all about convenience right? But goals, especially big goals, take time. You have to expect yourself to be able to you know, last over the long haul. Things take time. Uh, I listened to T.D. Jakes yesterday and um, at the Global Leadership Summit, and he said no major business deal that he's ever been a part of ever you know, follows the plan that it needs to be. It never hits the timeline that it says it's going to. You know, no house is ever built by the date they say it's going to. No business has ever opened exactly and completely ready on the day that it says it's to open. Like every big adventure that you take, every massive goal that you set forward is going to have a little bit of delay in it and that's okay. Everything takes time to happen. You're not necessarily going to want, going to need to get it very quick. And quick things don't necessarily always last. So remember that as well. So the solution is, uh, the problem isn't necessarily falling off the wagon or, you know, being perfect in the situation. The solution is, you know, giving yourself time, giving yourself an ac- accurate and adequate time frame to get things done. And if you don't hit it by your specific goal, that mes- just means that the time wasn't right for that, but you just keep going until you ha- until it happens. And giving yourself um, grace, giving yourself the time and the, and the space necessary to keep moving forward in the way that you get need to get there. Just keep going. The third reason, and this is one of the biggest reasons I feel like a lot of people don't necessarily reach their their goal, is because they have a lack of belief. You set a goal and you're really excited about it, about it, but deep down you don't believe in yourself. It either feels like it's way too much of a lofty goal or you've tried it in the past and it hasn't necessarily worked out for you, or well, maybe you've just accomplished it because you can, um, or but first you have to really believe in yourself. You have to really know and want it in your heart, which means you have to show up and you have to do the work. And some days it's gonna be super hard to do that. And some days it's not gonna feel like, you're not gonna feel like getting out of bed to go you know, do the thing that you need to do. But believe in yourself and believe that you can, believe that you're capable, believe that you have the strength, believe in you as an individual who really wants it and who deserves it and and is able to achieve it. And you'll find a way to get yourself out of bed every morning. You'll find a way to make the thing happen. You'll stay up later. You'll, you know, pull in extra hours because failure is not an opportunity that you're going to allow yourself to have for this opportunity. Last year um, in the, in my business, I was striving for a really big goal, like less than half a percent of people reach this goal in our business. And it took a lot out of me towards the end of the year, but I believed in our team to do it. I believed in my ability to lead our team to do it. And 
it took a lot of effort and it took a lot of time and it took a lot of work. But when I stuck to it, when I, I believed in our ability to do it and I believed that it was going to be happened for us and it did. And so when you believe in yourself and you show up and you do the work, you wash, rinse, repeat, your goals are going to happen for you. But you have to believe that it's possible for it to happen. And I don't mean like logically believe in things because big dreams, big visions, big things that you want for yourself don't necessarily go, not, are, are not necessarily going to make sense for you. They're not going to logically make sense on paper, right? The, when the Wright brothers, uh, where we're going to do an airplane, that that was not logical. People could not figure out what the heck they were talking about. They said, boys, stick to the bicycles. You'll be fine there, right? People belong on land, but they were dreaming and being inspired by eagles and how they soared across the, the air. And they wanted to do that too. And so their vision and their, their big dreams were huge and people doubted them. They probably could have, I'm sure they doubted themselves in the long haul and they actually had to like change all kinds of things to make sure that they they ended their goal but they stuck to it and they kept going and that's what dreaming does that's what setting goals does that's what sticking to it does and so you can be the right brothers you can fly you can soar in any sort of thing that you want to do but you have to stick to it the fourth kind of tip of the reason why you're maybe not reaching your goal is lack of planning fun fact I did not know how much planning and organizing was involved in making things happen. I kind of fly to see the pants. Like I get inspired, I just do it and I run, right? But if you really want to make big things happen, you have to plan. You have to have, um, you can't necessarily have a million things running at the same time. You have to figure things out as you go and making a plan and, and putting together a timeline and figuring things out as you, as you're um, going through them. Like I said, the timeline may not stick, but as you make the plan, you have to have each move as you go. So when you get to one thing done, you can move right into the next. And so when you're starting, you start running or you start doing something, you know, in 2018, when you, um, you have to kind of plan out when, when things are going to happen. So like I plan out my entire week, I plan out um, all the big non-negotiables that happen at the top of my day in my calendar. And then all the little things kind of happen at the end. Because I know if I don't put it on my calendar, if I don't um, work on it, things we're constantly working on something um, to make sure it's uh, I'm intentional with it, it falls off the plate. So the solution to this one is just make a plan. Don't say that you will do something. Talk about when you're going to do something. So it's easier to fall short on something when you don't necessarily have concrete steps to get there. But if you have the plan, if you have it on your calendar, if you know when and how and where you're going to do it, it's way more successful. So I have a lot of people that say, I'm going to exercise this week. But then my question to them is, when are you going to exercise? In the morning? In the evening? Are you going to, you know, are you going to do it with a friend? Are you going to, when is it going to happen? So if you have it on the calendar, it will happen. The fifth reason, the last one I'm going to share with you today, I actually said seven, so we'll go off the seven. (laughs) Number five is lack of consistency. One of the most crucial things to do when you set for a new goal for yourself is to do it consistently. Consistency is the, is the connection between short-term goals and long-term goals. And so the consistency is the glue that holds those two things together. And because if we, when we don't do things consistently over time, things start to fall off. And when you are able to do things consistently, when you're able to stick to something and create the dedication and the habit then of doing that, that action, you're going to be able to achieve your goals much faster and you'll be able to stop allowing yourself to make excuses because you've now, bec- now the things that you're doing are becoming a habit. And when you do that, your goals come quicker because you're doing the actions that you need to do to get there faster. If I, my goal was to walk a mile and after every 25 steps, I stopped for a day or two, I'm not going to get to that mile very quickly. But if I keep going and just take 25 steps every single day, I will get there, right? And so being consistent in your actions is something that's going to help you not only reach your goals, but create habits in your, in your heart, in your mind, and in your life to help you get to where you need to be. Number six, lack of personal accountability. When you set out on a big goal, one of the first things you do is should be telling somebody else about it. It should be sharing it with an accountability partner. Keeping yourself accountable and depending and having other people depend on you or you depending on other people is one of the number one ways that you can definitely achieve your goals. The truth is that not a lot of people tell people about it. Not a lot of people Um, share what they're doing because they're afraid of failure. They're afraid they're letting fear already in right away at the beginning of their goals. And they don't necessarily, um, you know, 
maybe they don't believe in themselves. Maybe it's one of these other reasons that are on the list that they're not, they're not making things happen. But the solution to self-discipline is ask yourself, why is this important to you? Why is it that you want to achieve this goal? And then realizing that at the end of the day is the one reason why you can do something with it. So, um, be a part of an, (laughs) <laughs> yes, Isaac, a nagging wife is a perfect accountability partner. That's a good one. Um, and so if you can find somebody in your house, if you can find somebody in your um, in your neighborhood, if you can find someone at work, if you can find someone um, online in an accountability group like I run, be a part of somebody with something that you can um, you know, have that discipline to get up and do it every day because, <laughs> yes, you can. It's true though, I must say, husbands as well. Um, and so... If you can, if you can do that, you can find an accountability partner. Your goals are going to be more accomplished because you can get out and and make sure things are happening because you've you've expressed it. You've put your goal out there in the world, and someone else is going to be there for you when it gets hard, when that fear creeps in, when the doubt creeps in, when it's a lot easier to stay in bed than actually get up and get moving. That wife or the husband can push you out. <laughs> Number seven, another the final tip I have for you this morning is the seventh reason why your goals aren't necessarily happening is because you are reaching for perfectionism. You want everything to be perfect, and I completely get it. I have been that type of person at times. I have not done something because it's not quite right, but I also have learned over the years that done is better than perfect, and you can always make tweaks. You can always get out there and make a change to it, but getting it out there is the first step to getting your goal to happen. So while you know there are certain things that do need to have a level of, of completedness for them to actually get out there. There is something that you need to do about just getting it done, just getting it out there. And so realizing that perfection does not exist, realizing that you are not a perfect person. None of us are perfect per- people. We are all broken. We are all um, imperfect individuals. We're human, right? Um, all of that perfectionism was gone way back in the Garden of Eden. So be honor the fact that you are, are not perfect. Honor the fact that everything that you do is not going to be pristine and beautiful and just get it out there. In fact, purposely doing things imperfectly sometimes is the drive or it gives you the the absolute peace just to keep moving along. Like, you know, when people get done with a marathon, they sometimes some of them are running hard and strong at the end. Some of them are just barely making it across the line. And but the the point is that you get across the line and you're done is doesn't matter if you're sprinting across or you're walking across. You're just keeping moving. You're just getting things done even if it's not perfect. And so over time you're going to find some peace and some calmness in imperfect actions in just getting something accomplished and moving across the finish line. And a lot of reasons why people don't necessarily get going with things is that, you know, they feel like they need to be perfect or have the perfect time or the perfect opportunity. And again, perfect doesn't exist. So if you're taking the, taking the time to set some goals, if you're taking the, the opportunity, the, the time, the brain space to want to achieve something, I beg of you to use one of these seven tips today and figure out why those goals are not happening. Because you deserve your goals. You deserve to, to be able to accomplish the things that God's put inside of you. You deserve the opportunity opportunity to be rewarded for your effort and to do things with, with great style. And so if you are holding yourself back for one of these reasons, because you're waiting for perfectionism, because you are, uh, you know, lacking the personal accountability, because you're lacking consistency, or that you don't have a plan, or that you don't believe in yourself, or that you, um, you know, you're lacking patience. And most importantly, if you are just too many things that you're trying to focus on at once, if those are the reasons why you're not reaching a goal, I hope and pray that you find one of these solutions that I've given you today and reach that goal. Set a small short-term goal, hit that short-term goal, celebrate it, and go on to the next one. And eventually you'll be at your long-term goal. And remember what I said, consistency over time is what reach takes the short-term goals and makes them into the long-term goals. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. I really appreciate that you were with me today, Isaac. I really appreciate that um, you push play today on this podcast version. And I really hope and pray that you are back with me again on Monday as we go live again 
And we'll be talking more about, um, you know, really sticking to some success of habits. And so um, I have eight habits for success next Monday, and I hope that you uh, come back and join me there and that you also go check out the Good God Company because they're one of our sponsors and they help make this possible. And so, um, again, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I hope and pray that you have a fabulous weekend and that you're um, that you reach your goals that you set for yourself because you deserve them. I hope that you are able to rise up out of your current situation and live your absolute best life, whatever those goals, dreams, and aspirations are for you. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.